Hey internet people, I figured I'd actually make a video. I'm used to doing much more talking and explaining on my YouTube channel than I've been doing here. And uh, that's just because I've been trying to be cool and make like entertaining uh, TikTok style videos. But you know what, what the hell? I'm gonna actually explain something versus uh, just doing video clips. So I thought it would be fun to do like explanations of my shorter video clips for people that wanted more explanation of like, what does that mean? So my last one was on um, the open hook orifice on my Spinolution wheel being really great for spinning art yarn. This is the tiny little one off the four ounce from my Polywog. So you can see it's not very big, but it's got that hook. And this is the bobbin, the four ounce bobbin that is very small and lightweight that comes off the same wheel. So like imagine these together. And so they go like this. And the benefit of having the open hook orifice that I was talking about for the art yarn was if you're not limited by something that's more of a tube, see you could obviously get a lot more yarn or larger yarn to come through this hook um, without getting caught up. And then that way, this part, if imagine this is a spinning wheel is going to be spit the yarn can go through the hook around the flyer head and wrap onto your bobbin so that would be definitely a benefit of having a more open orifice uh that way so this you see has the little metal plates so this just magnets on the front of my flyer head like that and then the bobbins in the middle so that was the main benefit is that I was talking about in my last little TikTok was having this open hook in order to spin, uh, you know, crazier yarn, <laughs> I guess, or thicker yarn. So uh, one thing I get asked all the time that I guess this is a good segue into is for the smaller bobbins is like, hey, can you still spin art yarn on the smaller wheel with this uh, setup with the little hook and the little bobbin. And the question answer to that would be yes and no. Yes, you can definitely spin larger, chunkier yarn on this setup because it can pass through this hook. But as you see with the small little bobbin, you would be limited on the amount that will fit on the bobbin. So it's like you can, but is it ideal? Probably no. So uh, that is the yes and no <laughs> answer on that. And if you'd like to see more of that in action, like I said, I do have a YouTube channel. So go find that. And there's a bajillion videos showing exactly that. But that's the quick answer on that. And this one, while it does look like more of a traditional tube orifice that you would see on most spinning wheels, has some tricks up its sleeves. It's actually a hook uh, tube. It's a hook tube uh, combo. So that can be found uh, on Spinlution, Spin Perfect as well on my website. 